why studying alone doesn't lead to knowledge we often think that if we study sufficiently and acquire enough information then we will become knowledgeable significantly however the bhagavad gita 1417 states that knowledge grows by living life of goodness not just by studying satva sanjayate gyanam jaso lobh eva cha pramad moha tamaso bhavato agyanam eva cha satva sanjayate gyanam to appreciate this gita statement let's consider what knowledge is meant for is it meant for us to win an argument and prove our superiority over others or is it meant for us to choose wisely amid tempting or troubling situations thereby making our life more meaningful and fruitful while knowledge can serve both can serve the first purpose it's it will be much more valuable for enhancing our life if it serves the second purpose how the two purposes may vary can be understood by considering an example say of doctors who smoke do the doctors not know that smoking is harmful for health they do and yet they don't they have more data in their intellect about the harms of smoking than what most people have yet that information in the intellect is superseded by the uncontrollable cravings and the unhealthy habits they have cultivated so knowledge in contrast those who can resist the temptation to smoke they may have lesser knowledge but their choices are wiser why because knowledge is manifest in various places other than the intellect conscience culture values attitudes uh, desires habits lifestyles and all these are healthy and holistic when we strive to live in the mood of goodness what does this mean for all of us practically we certainly need to study to gain knowledge but we also need to modify the way we live so that it harmonizes with what we are studying even if changing the way we live takes time that's okay the important thing is to recognize that knowledge is seen more in application than in information and to thereby make our pursuit of knowledge not unidimensional in terms of seeking information but multidimensional in terms of information assimilation application when we thus strive to live virtuously then our knowledge won't make our ego bigger but it will make our make us wiser and happier
to cultivate knowledge we don't we grow in knowledge not merely by accumulating information in our intellect but by making healthy choices in all areas of life 